what is up ladies and gentlemen welcome into tonight's stream as you can see we don't have our camera on tonight it's gonna be a full-blown full screen extravaganza for you all um let's just make sure everyone can hear and see everything on the screen okay so let's give a big fucking welcome to everyone in tonight for mcw carnage welcome to bloody friday night carnage so yes we're not having the camera up now the reason for not having the camera up is we want to start doing highlight shows so no camera from now on for the uh, mcw shows because i want to start getting highlight reels made up so we can get them all over the social medias onto tiktoks uh, instagrams twitters um and we can start getting some awesome shit done so, we've got a hell of a fucking night planned. Kicking it off with Hazza versus Sawyer for the Hardcore Championship. At some point tonight, I've got some food coming very shortly. Um, we've not that long just got back from the circus. So, you want carnage. I want you to have carnage. Why are you not allowed your cam then? It's not a case I'm not allowed it. I just don't want my face all over the highlights, mate. I want it to be professional. Is that why there wasn't an intro? There was an intro video. Right, fuck it. We're getting straight in. Let's go. MC Carnage, baby. No, I didn't see what you did 17 hours ago for me. And how are we all tonight, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to Friday Night Carnage, where there's going to be absolute mayhem and torture. Big, big matches ahead of us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Let's crack on with the show with this hell of a first match. So, ladies and gentlemen, the first matchup of the night is for the Hardcore Championship. And it is to be contested under Extreme Rules with the challenger representing the authority. Hazard! The following contest is an Extreme Rules match and is for the Hardcore Championship! This guy is ready for a fight. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We know he's proved his worth in the franchise so far. And this is going to be a hell of a challenge for his opponent and, and the champion. A former hardcore champion. The first hardcore champion of MCW. We have got the amazing Hazza coming into the ring. Also tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have three massive triple threat matches. The winner of each triple threat match over the next two weeks will go one-on-one -on -one in a six-man Hell in a Cell match for the vacated brand new MCW Carnage World Heavyweight Championship. 
that match will be contested on the 19th of August. How good was... Oh, last night was amazing, mate. The missus wasn't happy with me because I was waking her up every five minutes. But last night was fucking phenomenal. Loved every minute of it. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Representing the Ministry, a.k.a. Sawyer's Nest. It's the leader of Sawyer. Sawyer. I will do indeed, mate. I haven't got Discord up on my screen at the moment. I'll have a look now, though, while Sawyer's on his way to the ring, as it's the world's longest entrance. <laughs> Cliff, did you change my name on the game? No, not yet, because you're not on till Tuesday. But um, you'll have to DM me, mate, and remind me. Oh, I haven't had that come through yet. Oh, there we go. You have done it. Griff, mate, you haven't got to keep doing tier 3 subscriptions, dude. But I massively fucking appreciate that. Here we go, guys. The championship yeah, that's fine, TJ. We'll get that sorted after the show. The Fuck it. We'll do it after the show. We'll get um, Demonics changed and yours. I appreciate it, Griff. I really do appreciate it, mate. Another tier 3 subscription there by Griff. Well appreciate that, man. Here we go. The ever impressive, the voodoo king himself, Sawyer. Griff's not the only one killing it, dude. You all are. Lately, the, the, the love and support that you've all shown me lately is fucking insane. And I, and I really do appreciate every one of you for doing what you do here for me. You're making my dreams come fucking true. Like you really are. And there we go. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. The Hardcore Championship. Jim Uso Pro. Nice. I feel blessed to be a part of this amazing thing you've built. Mate, I feel blessed to have you all here. I'm typing that thing up for you now, Cliff. Oh, brilliant. Cheers, dude. And introducing the champion from Manchester, England. Yeah, get it all typed up and I can announce it tonight. He is the hardcore champion. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. This is also going to be a hell of a matchup for Hazza. We've seen Hazza lately in the best form we've seen him in since the very beginning of MCW. And now all of a sudden, boom, he's coming straight back for that hardcore title. He really wants to get his hands back on that belt. He's classed it as the title that he made famous. You might remember Hazza's, um, Hazza had a massive rivalry with Fresh King back in the day. But here we go. It's about this match now. And they're underway. And Hazza with the quick strikes. And now Sawyer is coming straight after Hazza. It does feel weird not having a camera here, by the way. Um... But like I say, it's all for the extra hype for MCW so we can get extra highlights made of matches and of more extreme moments that may occur. And here we go. Hazza has got it locked in. Hazza there locking in the submission move and wrenching the neck. And Sawyer's like, fuck you. <laughs> Now, one thing we have learned, yeah, the camera be on after MCW. I can't let you all, I can't let you go all night, ladies and gentlemen, without seeing the face that is responsible for most babies in this world. <laughs> oh, what a knee strike there by Hazza! And oh, he's a he's a big taunter, is Hazza? Oh, what a shot! Nearly ripping the face paint clean off, and a huge springboard. 
I haven't yet, Demonic. I did say that just now. Anna J, how we doing? Welcome in, man. Thank you for getting um rec for recommending someone to the Madhouse One team as well. Hazza is on fire tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He is showing some awesome skills yet again. Oh, a huge Superman punch. And a spear. A spear. And he's picked him up. And another spear. Back-to-back -back spears. One. Two. Oh. Unlucky. Hopefully, mate. Only time will tell. Hazza has not come to play. He's come to fucking dominate. And now Sawyer there with those quick strikes. And Hazza saying no with the judo throw. Another amazing moonsault off of the, um, off the ropes. <laughs> and there we go. Irish whipping him into the corner. And he's saying no. There's those amazing strikes to the body again. And he is having his way with Sawyer, ladies and gentlemen. We did say at the beginning that this match is going to be Sawyer's biggest test as of yet. Because Hazard is insanely good. Look at that. Dodging, dodging the sledgehammer strikes. And now they're going hardcore. Now they're going hardcore. On the outside of the ring, Hazard has got Sawyer. Throws him straight into those steps. And now Hazard has the sledgehammer, ladies and gentlemen. And he is having his way again with Sawyer. Sawyer trying to rip his fucking face off now. This is insane. What a matchup this has been so far. The sledgehammer blows to the feet of Hazard. Oh, and a drop toe hold there by Sawyer. And he's going straight back. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. He's going to a different area of the ring. Nope. He's having a dance. He's having a dance around the ring. I've never seen that happen in my life. <laughs> Hazard's not letting this go. He's got the sledgehammer. And he's taunting at the wrong time. And Hazard just leveling him with the sledgehammer yet again. And he's got him up. That's the type of move there that took Hazard out of the um, MCW Mayhem title shot. Two. Oh, oh my God. Just getting that shoulder up there. What's Hazard's, what's Hazard's next move? Oh, he's teeing him up again. He's teeing him up for another. Ladies and gentlemen, a third spear. Spear. One, two, ladies and gentlemen, the new hardcore champion, Hazard. Come on. Bringing gold back to the authority. GG's, Hazard. GG's. Once again, hardcore champion of MCW, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely amazing. Now, one thing we do know is that on Tuesday night, Sawyer will get the opportunity to win that title back. But what a match up there by Hazard and Sawyer. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. The next matchup, ladies and gentlemen, is the first triple threat of the night for the qualification spot. In that big six-man hell in a cell. This matchup is going to be seeing the Dark King, BR Styles. Versus Chaos's very own Gowie. Versus the self-proclaimed best there is, best there was, and best there ever will be. Brett the Hitman! Ha! And
and here he is making his long awaited debut to the MCW brand. Here he comes. We get the feeling of another championship for a while. Let's go. Mate, you done good. Going to finish watching first half of footy and I should be back. Not a problem, Hazard. Now I'm writing down in my pad that this is a qualifying match up there for for that big hell in a cell. And here comes the member of chaos. The ever impressive and ever charismatic. Gowie. Are you booked in tonight? That is a fucking good question. Let me have a look fresh. I think you're in next week's ones. Let me have a quick look. No, you're in next week's uh, triple threat, dude. So there is there, there is chances there, by the way. There is a lot of chance that we could see two or three members of Chaos in that six-man Hell in a Cell. Because nearly all the members are going to get a shot. Obviously, IJAP93, Ian Porter... He's on sabbatical at the moment after losing his title. He did suffer a very, very nasty injury, ladies and gentlemen, at the hands of Demonic Titan in that amazing Hell in a Cell death, um, Elimination Chamber death cage. Now, here we go, making his return. Making his return to MCW Carnage. It is the Dark King himself, B. R. Styles. No, Matt Case hasn't come out yet, mate. One thing's for sure. Tonight's triple threat matches are going to be amazing. Demonic didn't touch me. It was Snow Cow who broke my pin. Yeah, but the amount of other players, though, that were there and the amount of other people... ...is, um, is why... Ian Porter's character is out of action, unfortunately. They will be back at some point, but we do not know when. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first triple threat match of the night for the qualifying match of the Hell in a Cell. And there we go, BR Styles straight up missing straight away. And Bret Hart with a clinical, clinical dropkick. Yeah, about 20 minutes. And here we go, BR Styles. And oh, I mean, every time I tried to say BR Styles is doing something, some superstars are understandably hesitant. Bret Hart just comes in and absolutely annihilates. Then they need to go wrestle a different match. This is the kind of match where you need to cross the line before the opposition does. If a superstar wants the W, they need to overcome that hesitation. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Watch the knee. Oh, that can rock you. And now Gowie is going after Bret Hart. Now, this is a matchup, ladies and gentlemen, between these two competitors. When this matchup was announced straight away, Gowie was a little bit hesitant as to if he'll even have the chance to progress in this match. 
But his fellow Chaos members got behind him and said, we've all got faith in you, mate. You can do this for the brand. You can do this for the faction. And now we're seeing some great manoeuvres coming in. And he's taken on both competitors. And a lovely breakup of the pin there by Bret Hart. Hitman never saw that coming. Oof, Kip finds it. These consecutive attacks have him really... And Bret Hart now with the beautiful side suplex there to Gowie. Stunning him to the outside. And now BR Styles is going straight after Bret Hart. Brilliant, brilliant strikes with an amazing counter there again by Brett. Also as well, Demonic, haven't got to worry too much about the sound alerts in the uh, in the highlights. I can always uh, I can always manoeuvre different parts of the of the highlight I do. So it's all good. Oh, what a back suplex! Oh, Gowie is on fire tonight. Check it again. I will indeed. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Absolute dominance. And now BR Styles has got Bret Hart up. What's he going to do now? Oh, my God. The powerbomb to the outside, ladies and gentlemen. He could have damn near broken his spine. And he's got Gowie up with a huge maneuver. What's he got planned now? Oh, a clothesline all the way from hell. And Bret Hart's gone for the cheeky pin. Bret Hart trying to steal one there. Oh, a pendulum black, uh, backbreaker there. Bret Hart is clinical with his reversing. An impressive showing so far from all three competitors tonight. Gowie's in the corner, ladies and gents, and he is taunting his opponents. BR Styles gone for the pin, and Gowie breaks it up. Oh, massive head toss. And Brett coming straight after BR Styles. What are we going to see next? He's taking him to the, to the side. Yeah, man, it works. It works for me. Oh, and BR Styles is stunned on the outside. This is Brett's perfect opportunity, ladies and gents. Gowie with a huge reversal. This could be the moment. Gowie reversing the sharpshooter. Oh, he could have taken too much time out of his schedule here. What are we going to see from Gowie? A huge move. A flip power bomb. That was amazing. This is troublesome for Hitman. And now BR Styles is going to try and take advantage of the situation. He knows that one person is all the way out of it. And he's gone straight after the other. BR Styles. Oh, with the slip down there. Now Bret Hart's got him where he wants him. Bret Hart has him. Ladies and gentlemen, the pile driver. Gowie is stunned on the outside. It's the perfect time for Brett to get the pin. He's gone for the pin. One, two. Ooh, and a kick out there by Dark King BR Styles. Oh, look out. Brett Hart, ladies and gentlemen. He's going for the sharpshooter. He's got it locked in. And Gowie there breaking up the potential submission attempt. And a pin by Bret Hart. And another break up there by Gowie. Gowie is on fire with these uh, breakups tonight. Big leg drop there by Bret Hart. Bret Hart currently with the upper 
upper hand on both of his comp uh, opponents here tonight. Huge power slam. And a big, big move there by Gowie. No problem, Demonic. Big swing and net breaker as well by Brett. And now Brett saying, don't you dare taunt me, you son of a bitch. As he just completely knocks his block off. Oh, and a massive counter there by the Dark King. What's the Dark King got planned? Oh, a massive clothesline all the way from hell. This is the perfect opportunity. One, two. Ladies and gentlemen. Winning the first of the qualifying matches. The impressive Dark King B. Ah, oh, Styles! And that was a good match. That was a good match. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have got a steel cage match. With Blade Ellis of Chaos looking to regain his title that he lost at sat last Saturday's pay-per-view, Death From Above. Where Dodgy Kiwi was the surprise winner of that match. Winning his first ever championship on the MCW brand. Can Dodgy Kiwi retain the title? Or will Blade Ellis be victorious once again? and bring some gold to the Chaos Faction. The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the Million Dollar Championship. Oh yeah, I am pumped for this guy. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We all know how impressive this bloody man is. Definitely one of the best members of the Chaos Faction. I've been told that Blade Ellis is in charge of Chaos at the moment, whilst his leader is now out of action for the time being. No idea, Demonic. No idea, mate. So much has transpired over the Million Dollar Championship. We're a few moments away from a new chapter in its storied history. It's a title truly befitting Ted DiBiase's iconic stature, Saxon. As such, each champion besides... A spokesperson close to Blade Ellis said to us on the Saturday after the pay-per-view, Blade Ellis was so angry about what went down in his death cage. Apparently, authorities had to be called in to stop him from hunting down the dodgy Kiwi. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing your million dollar champion. Winning it at the Death From Above pay-per-view. The dodgy Kiwi. Ha <laughs> uh, Food on its way. We're well, gonna get there before they win the bell. Definitely leave now if you want. Champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Now, Dodgy Kiwi was very, very impressive in that death cage. The most impressive we have ever seen, Dodgy Kiwi. Many have written him off as champion, but he is determined to prove his doubters wrong. Like Corey Graves has just said there, a lot of people have written off the Dodgy Kiwi as the champion. They all think that um, Blade Ellis is going to win this belt back. Blade Ellis was unstoppable before the death cages, ladies and gents. And here we go. That's what it's all for. 
Now, just to reiterate, ladies and gentlemen, the way that our title match um, rematch clause occur. If you're the champion and you successfully defend your title next time, you get a guaranteed rematch clause written into your MCW career. If you fail on your first attempt, then you do not get your rematch clause. So if the dodgy Kiwi loses tonight, he will not get a rematch for this title when he loses. But if he does defend it and retain it, he gets that rematch clause written into his contract. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the steel cage match of the night. Blade Ellis straight away trying to bring the uh, the power there to the Kiwi. Kiwi wants none of Blade. He is trying to escape straight away. At least we know it's fresh. So yes, my food is now here. So if I do go quiet, ladies and gentlemen, it's because I'm eating. I'm stuffing my fat fucking face. Huge move. And the Kiwi's looking to escape again. He really doesn't want any of Blade. Blade's struggling to know what to do here. What is Blade doing? There we go. And he just yanks him off the cage. And he's gone for the pin. One. A quick count there. And a big manoeuvre now. Oh, he's having his way with a Kiwi. Oh, what a manoeuvre there. A springboard RKO by Blade. Blade knows that he can have his way with Kiwi. Not risking any outside interference in these types of matches. Oh, he nearly took his head clean off. And he's going for the climb. He's going for the climb. From the top. Rough landing. Able to elude it. Chop. Hopping at the leg. Oh, what a right hook. He turns it around. Now check this out. This is going to blow your mind. Oh, my goodness. No. That was a huge move, by the way. Just the two count there. I nearly dropped my burger. He's determined to make it to the top of the cage here, guys. Heading up and maybe heading out. And Blade Ellis is heading up, ladies and gentlemen. The dude in the gold is huge. And here we go, Dodgy Kiwi just stopping him from escaping. He just has to swing that leg over. As he continues to climb the side of the cage, you have to think his confidence is starting to build. No, it's not safe being up there. And victory looking more and more likely for him now in this steel cage match. And now the climb down could be more petrifying than the climb up. And the Kiwi has managed to somehow Better be quick about it. stop Blade Ellis from climbing up. And now Kiwi's looking to climb. And Blade Ellis smashing his head against the uh, the steel there. And a second time. Oh, and Dodgy Kiwi, he's dodged it this time. He said three times in a row, have a laugh. And what's he doing? He's going for the climb himself. Here he goes, working his way up the side of the cage. Feels like it's opportune time to get out of here. And now they're both at the top of the cage. Dodgy Kiwi's in the perfect opportunity here. 
Oh, and Blade Ellis there, smashing Kiwi's head off the top. And this has been an amazing contest by the two. What is he doing? Looks like he's having trouble putting that other leg over. Blade, you've got to be quick. Ooh, that was so close. I will do indeed, dude. That was so close to the Kiwi retaining. And now they're both climbing the cage to go up. Kiwi's just about to make it up to the top. Blade Ellis now is trying to climb over. And another face full of steel for Blade. And here they go again. What is he doing? He's doing it again. He's getting down. Oh, this could be the final bit. This could be what the Kiwi needed. And at the very top, he gets a grip on him. He was halfway home. He takes control. And victory looking. And the Kiwi has been thrown. Oh, sorry. No, Blade Ellis has been thrown from the top. Kiwi's in a prime position here. Oh, milliseconds away. Milliseconds. And Blade Ellis manages to bring the Kiwi back down. And he makes the Kiwi pay for that. And he has gone straight down to the bloody canvas. Sora Hearts, thank you for the follow and welcome into the MCW. Blade Ellis is now climbing the cage. He's looking to escape and retain that amazing million dollar title. Can he do it, ladies and gentlemen? It looks like we've got a new champion! Ladies and gentlemen, Ripton winning his title back on MCW Carnage! Blade Ellis! A huge, huge win there for Blade. Their next matchup is the second of our three triple threat matches for the qualification. It sees Matt Cass against Bryce Pierce versus Cactus Jack. The Kiwi and Chaos's rivalry, you've just got to assume, is far from over. Kiwi had a huge rivalry with their leader. And now he's got another rivalry in there with their new leader for the time being. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first competitor into this matchup is... The ever unpredictable and amazing Bryce Pierce. Uh, if you want me to re-download and replace characters, it does cost channel points. Have a look in the channel points for the upload my character. A very impressive person, Mr. Bryce Pierce, ladies and gents. Oh, 
I've just dropped a chip. That'll be there, my snack for later. <laughs> But congratulations, Blade Ellis, on winning back your million dollar title. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. One of the most impressive superstars on the roster, I'm going to tell you this right now. The high flying, match buying, soul slaying. That's cool, dude. I can't remember whose music that is, Golden. But here's one theme song we all know and love. It's one of the many personas of Mick Foley. Mrs. Foley's baby boy. Cactus. So we already know the first competitor in the Hell in a Cell, six-man Hell in a Cell match in two weeks. And that is uh, Mr. BR Styles. Who's going to be joining him? Will it be Matt Cass, Bryce Pierce, or Cactus Jack? This is going to hurt. Oh, a huge Pele kick there by Bryce. Awesome maneuvers. And he's going after Matt Cass, basically saying you should not be taunting whilst I'm in the ring. Oh, a huge drop kick there, making him to the outside. Yeah, it's fine, dude. I hope that's not because I ridiculed your uh, your character, mate. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE universe right now. Well scattered reversal there. Set up for the incredible sweep. Nicely done. To the arm. Shifts it back onto him. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. He's getting a little okay, mate. now. It does, yeah, because it's a whole new upload I've got to do, which takes time. Just carrying the 
position. Yeah, 50k in. points. That's it. Demonic's already paid me his already. One. Oh, unlucky Matt. Yeah, Demonic's already paid me his. Nearly finished my food. I do apologise. Oh, what a move coming in here by Matt. Oh, a huge falcon arrow. And Matt there not quite knowing what to do with Cactus. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Jack that Oh! And a huge reversal there on a on a potential finishing move there by Matt. And Cactus Jack saw it coming. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to. And another huge move. What a maneuver there by Bryce Pierce. And he's gone for the pin. One. Two. Ooh. One lucky. So, so close. And now what's Matt got in store for Bryce? What's he got in store? Nothing. And now Bryce and Cactus straight back into it. What a maneuver. And a huge moonsault landing on the back of Cactus Jack. And a huge reversal now by Bryce. Off the ropes. Oh, look at this agility. Oh, what a move. And Matt and Bryce has gone up top. A huge 450 in with a pin. Can Bryce do it? One, two. Ooh, ho, ho. so close. Bryce is on a whole different level tonight. I 100% agree with you. Bryce is insanely good tonight. Beautiful DDT there by Cactus. That DDT came out of nowhere. Cactus Jack, ladies and gentlemen. The second person threw to that big Hell in a Cell match. That double arm DDT came out of nowhere. It was definitely a win that should have been Bryce's. I agree. Bryce was the outstanding competitor of that matchup. And Foley just come in and stole it. What a steal that was. That was rigged. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. To defend their women's tag team titles. It's the team. The championship team. Of Frankie and Chelsea. As they go one-on-one -on -one for their titles. As they put them up against the new number one contenders of Suplex and Akira. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Yo, Cyclone. Yo, Grimclaw. Welcome into MCW Carnage, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cliff Davies Gaming. I am here to commentate on the action when I am not stuffing my face with my food. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Just a standard tag team matchup 
for the MCW Women's Tag Team Championships. And here we have one half of those tag team champions. Frankie Davis. No, mate, I've got a, um, I've got a McDonald's tonight, mate, because we've been out, um, we've been out to the circus today. And oh, mate, it was so good the circus. We haven't that long been back, if I'm honest. We literally got back about half seven, twenty to eight. And then I was like, shit, just in time for MC Dub. I better go and get all that shit sorted. And yeah, it's been uh, it's been a busy one, man. Yeah, thanks to Dan, mate. Dan was a legend for that. All right, nice one. And here we have, ladies and gentlemen, Frankie's tag team partner, the second half of the MCW Women's Tag Team Champions. Chelsea Smith, the devil in high heels as they call her. I feel very sick right now. <laughs> You must admit as well that as a tag team, both Frankie and Chelsea have been so dominant in the tag team division. When they did lose their titles, they won it back three days later. And here we go. The very impressive on Tuesday night. Pinning Sasha Banks to earn this matchup for Friday. Sue Black. Oh, pardon me. And one thing we know about her tag team partner. Her tag team partner is always eager to get into the ring to cause some damage to her opponents with her amazing striking abilities. And here she comes, ladies and gentlemen. Her tag team partner, Akira. Now we're expecting this to be a very close matchup after what we saw on Tuesday. Who will leave here the women's tag team champions? Will it be the reigning defending tag team women's champions of Frankie and Chelsea? Or are we going to see new titles. women's tag team champions? Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I am Cliff Davies. Let's get this match underway. Byron, in regards to the champion, you often say, stick with the strategy that got him to the title. But is that always a viable option? Well, it should at least be the first option, Michael. Coming straight in with a power move. Present a different problem. But the champ needs to remain confident. Boom! Suplex there with an amazing suplex on Frankie. The champ isn't where they're at by being one-dimensional. Adapting on the fly should not be a problem. As she tosses her into the corner now. And here we go, a huge clothesline. Go for a pin to isolate her in the corner. One! And a beautiful kick out there by Frankie Davies. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. 
And now Frankie's going to show some power of her own. Whatever you can do, Sue, I can do also, she says. And here we go. Massive power moves. Boom. And there's that lustrous power. We've seen this move numerous times. A huge running power slam. And she's gone for the pin. Oh, just the rope break there. And she's gone for the quick tag there to Chelsea. These two do tag very, very well together. They know when they need to be tagging out and when they don't. Chelsea with an awesome counter there on Sue. Oh, just raking the back of Sue there. Tossing her to the outside. And a stunner. Dropping Sue to the out. Now Frankie's the legal woman back in this matchup. Waiting for Suplex to get back in the ring. And here we go. They're starting to uh, rev up the gears now, ladies and gentlemen. They know what they need to do to retain these titles. And another quick tag. Sue there with the hot tag to Akira as well. This is Akira's first involvement in the matchup. Oh, what's she got planned for Chelsea? She takes Chelsea up in the air. Oh, a beautiful suplex slam. And here's the unexpected power of Akira. What a deadlift. Just slamming her to the floor. And she's going high risk. Will it be high reward? Here we go. Oh, what was that for a move? One, two, and a beautiful kick out there by the champions. Akira tagging Sue back into the match, knowing they've got Chelsea a little bit winded. And Chelsea said, no, I'm not. And smashing Sue in the face with a huge right hand. Tagging her partner, Frankie, back into the matchup now. And Frankie's huge um, sledgehammer fist there. Doing some um, massive damage. And a huge backbreaker as well now by Sue. Frankie with the counter into the dragon screw. That rhymed. And she's pumping herself up. Oh, a huge knee to the head. One. Just the one count. And she picks her up. A huge right hand there by Frankie. Nearly knocked her teeth out. What's she got planned here now? Oh, here we go again. Oh, what's this? Oh, what a manoeuvre by Frankie. Bringing Chelsea in now so Chelsea can do her signature manoeuvre of a pin. One. Two. Oh, not even a two count. Akira getting involved in the matchup now, saving her partner as she gets tossed to the outside. And here comes Sue with the huge underhook suplex. Looking to drag Chelsea to the middle of the ring. Are we going to see a pin attempt? We are indeed. Here we go. One. Two. Ooh. Frankie did not want to get in there and save her partner. She had all the faith in the world. Oh, what a drop kick there from the devil in high heels. Oh, a huge DDT to Akira. And here we go. Here's the amazing moves. Awesome manoeuvre with the knees. And now she's taken her over to the other side of the ring. Are we going to see the first double team? No. Brilliant counter by Chelsea. And here we go. The calf crusher is in. And it's a rope break. Damn. Unlucky there from Chelsea. Getting the rope break. Wasting that finishing manoeuvre. Just dragging Akira's body around. And she's going for the pin. She's gone for the pin. One. Two. And a break up by Sue. And now Frankie is just standing there. 
Chelsea's been tossed to the other side of the ring. And she's asking for that tag. Chelsea reaches Frankie. Frankie's coming in. Hot tag done. Oh, Frankie misses with the Kinshasa. We are not used to seeing Frankie and Chelsea there making these little errors. They never make the errors. Frankie just tossing Akira to the other side of the ring. Making there a little bit more space between her and her partner. Oh, and another massive, massive counter there by Akira. And a huge, huge choke slam by Akira onto Frankie. And here comes Sue, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, with the amazing moves. Here we go again. Oh, another massive underhook suplex. And Frankie is up again. And a side slam now to Frankie. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. I will do it in a minute, dude. And Sue is just completely damaging Frankie's legs. She knows if you damage the legs, you do take away the power of the Kin Sasha. And Akira is also doing it as well. With a huge move. Springboard moonsault there. Landed on the lower back. The champions are in trouble, we've got to say. We must say the champions are in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. Frankie's character hasn't moved in ages. And a pump handle slam by Sue. And now they... The challengers are now starting to tag in and out very, very quickly. Very good veteran manoeuvres occurring right now. And here we go. A huge, huge move by Akira. Will Chelsea come in and save her? She is. One, two. Ooh, luckily, luckily, Frankie was able to kick out of that manoeuvre because Chelsea was nowhere near. And here we go. Akira has gone up top. High risk, high, high rewards. Oh, and Frankie just reversed it. She reversed the move. Big, big sledgehammer blows. And a massive headbutt there to Akira. And she's picked her up. She's going for a power bomb. Oh, my God. And she's gone for the pin. Oh, and it's been broken up by the entrance. An interference of Sue. And Frankie's had enough of Sue's interference as she picks her up and running power slam to Sue. Oh, and a spear to the lower back of Frankie. That could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Akira takes Frankie to the turnbuckle. And again, back onto the leg punishment. Frankie reverses it. Huge headbutt. Big, big blows yet again. And she picks her up in the air. Ready to slam her down. And a huge reversal yet again by Akira. And oh my God. Another power bomb. A spinning sit down power bomb by Frankie. And she's gone for the pin. One, two, and still your MCW Women's Tag Team Champions. Frankie and Chelsea! Women's Tag Team Champions! And we have there we go. Brilliant work. A very rare sit down power bomb there by, by Frankie. Securing that win. Brilliant work there by the current Tag Team Champions. Just showing that they are still dominant. And their chemistry is forever growing. A huge, huge win there for the ladies. Hats off to you. The next matchup we have, ladies and gentlemen, is for the UNC title. That stands for the Underground National Championship. Double Deuce won this title in Saturday's 
Death from above, Death Cage. And Charles wants his title back. Are we going to see yet another title change tonight? We've had two title changes already. Can we see a third? This matchup, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be held under no holds barred rules. The following contest is a no holds barred match and is for the Underground National Championship. Woo! And here comes the challenger, ladies and gentlemen, looking to regain his title. The ever impressive Charles Lucha. How are we doing? Welcome him. Welcome in Lucha to MCW. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up and a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, we have also had some huge, huge news from the background stages. Our commentator backstage has just been doing an interview with the full fighting champion and member of Chaos, Griff. And Griff has said that he has some sad news to announce tonight. He has been in Chaos from the start. And has made some much needed progress with being with Chaos through MCW. And he said it is sad to say his time with Chaos is over. Which means he's no longer in a tag team. He is now a solo competitor on Carnage. Meaning that Chaos have just lost one of their champions, ladies and gentlemen, from their faction. All of this will be getting put up on to the Twitter page tonight. But yes, yeah, some breaking news there, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, in the ring now, we have Double Deuce. Introducing the challenger from Kansas City, Missouri. Weighing in at 269 pounds, Charles. Charles. Shocking news, Fresh. Shocking news. From New York, weighing in at 271 pounds. He is the underground national champion. Double A Deuce. You can see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. Not a problem. And there we go. That is what it's all for, ladies and gentlemen. That is what it's all for. Here we go. This is a no-holds-barred matchup. There are no disqualifications. No count-outs. Just to determine who's going to be going home with that title. Will Double Deuce retain the title in his first title defence? Or will Charles win back his, his first ever title that he won only a couple of weeks back? Huge risk, failed rewards. And a big backbreaker with the extension stretch there by Double A Deuce. He's got the camel clutch in there on Charles to try and wrench some pain into the back. Well, here we go. The greatest, the greatest bit of striking moves there from Charles on double deuce. And I don't know what he did there, but it was like a failed cat. Trying to jump. He goes right into the corner. Oh, Charles is coming in. Ch 
Charles definitely wants this title. Oh, what a reversal. That could have ended in an injury with how painful that looked. Charles has been very impressive in this uh, attempt to regain that title. There's Double Deuce with a taunt. Will that come back and haunt him? It looks like it will. Charles with a the strength there. Just tossing him to the ring. And a very, very painful kick there to the kidneys. And he's got him again. He's picked him up. Oh, what a move by Charles. Oh, Charles is teeing up for something. He's teeing up. He's got him. He's got him in his grasp. A huge choke slam by Charles. One, two. Ooh. Oh, oh. Nearly winning back his title that he lost on Saturday. Charles is definitely looking like the favourite in this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Especially after dodging that clothesline into that very painful German suplex. What a snap German suplex that was. And Double Deuce is going up. High risk, no rewards. Charles counters it. Charles knows what's exactly to come here. And he picks him up and hangs him on the top rope. Is he going to keep up the pummeling? It looks like he is. Oh, and he misses the drop kick now. Oh, and a big, big knee to the head. And Charles is back up. Oh, and he gets hit by the amazing shoulder tackle. Here comes Double Deuce. One. Just the one count there. Brilliant striking ability there by, by Charles. And a huge shoulder block again by Double Deuce. And a key reversal. A key reversal. Not a problem, dude. End of days to Charles. That could be game over. Two. Oh, how did he kick out of that, ladies and gentlemen? The end of days. No one ever kicks out of that. That's why it's called the end. And here we go again. A huge dominator there by Double Deuce. And he picks him up again. He's going for it again. The second end of days. That's got to be it now, ladies and gentlemen, surely. One, two. A very, very impressive title retention by Double Deuce. But do not take anything away from Charles. Charles was phenomenal in that match. Brilliant effort there by Charles. Very, very dominant display. I see many more titles in Charles's future. And here we go. The third and final triple threat match of the night, ladies and gentlemen. To get the very to get the third qualifier for that match on August 19th. It is Kano versus. Rob Van Dam versus Corey. I'm crying again. Tender moment. Tender moment. Tender moment. Little bit of tenderness. <laughs> and we have got two more matches after this one, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go, making his MCW career debut. Mr. Highlight Reel himself, Rob Van Dam. Rob 
the whole damn show has arrived. The crowd are on their feet and are excited to see Rob Van Dam here with his debut. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the first of his two opponents. The newest, one of the newest members to the Carnage brand coming over from Mayhem. We have got the amazing Kano. Very impressive specimen of a man. Very powerful. Very quick and agile. I will say that Kano's probably my pick to win this one tonight. I can just I, I can see him outlasting Corey, no problem at all. But I can also see Rob Van Dam being a bit of a spanner in the works. Let me know in the chat, who do you think is due to win this one? Do we think it's going to be Kano? Do we think RVD? Or do we think Corey? Let me know your thoughts in the chat. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There is Kano. One of the best Bro. superstars around. That looks better, Demonic. That looks way better, mate. Sora Hearts. Bruh. To you as well. And here we go. The third and final competitor for this matchup. He's only been on the brand a couple of weeks. And is getting shot after shot, ladies and gentlemen, for challenging for titles and being in the contentions. It's Corey. And here we go, the final triple threat of the night. Who else is going to join that massive Hell in a Cell match? And Kano's man. gone straight oh, after Rob Van, Van Dam. Really makes you think in a cerebral manner. Do you focus on one opponent or wait for an opening? And there goes Corey trying to do a sneak attack fight. from behind. And Kano saw him coming. Uh -oh. oh, big move incoming. A huge fall away slam there by Kano. And he's got Rob Van Dam up. And he's going to tie him up. Boom, he drops him straight into the turnbuckle. Oh, and another fall away slam onto Corey. And Rob Van Dam there doing the arm breaker on Kano. And sticking to that arm. And a nice spinning leg drop. No problem, dude. Van Dam was scouted there. Uh oh. Look at this. Uh oh, it's right. Oh, and an over, a fall away slam now by Corey to RVD. And he's going for the pin. One. Two. Whoa, nearly a shock. Nearly a shock pinfall there. And Kano is now taunting to the crowd. And pays for it by Corey. 
Corey makes him punish. And now he's going after the other taunter of the three. And he punishes him as well, launching him over the top there to the illustrious concrete on the bottom. With a three count or a task. Ooh, what a damaging blow. And here we go. A huge abdominal stomp there by Corey onto Kano. And he's going up top. High risk. High risk. Massive fail. Oh, and a huge kick by RVD. One. Two. And a kick out by Kano. Yo, the boss. How we doing? Yeah, I will do, mate. And a brilliant move there by Corey. Oh, what a hang up there by Corey on RVD. As he launches Kano to the outside of the ring. Focusing now on RVD. And RVD coming back there with a quick clothesline. But it means nothing if you can't follow it up. What was that? Uh, what was that you? Kano's taunting always. He is, man. He loves taunting. He has indeed. BR Styles had his match earlier on, matey. What a move by Corey coming after Kano now. And he's trying to drag him away from the ropes. He knows that rope breaks can cause a lot of bloody problems. Kano with the reversal there. Brilliant reversal. And he avoids the running headbutt by Corey. Kano just leaving Corey there. And getting tossed over the top rope yet again. And what are these two doing? They're just looking at each other now. Ooh, and Van Dam turns the tables. What? Big move by Rod Van Dam. And here we go. Oh, what a counter. And a big Alabama slam there by Kano. Oh, and not even the one count because Rob Van Dam was there to break up the pinfall. How are we doing, Dan? Welcome in, mate. And Kano there with the key reversal. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Just tossing him away. And he's dragging RVD there into the fray. BR Styles did win his matchup, ladies and gentlemen. BR Styles did win, boss. You was the first person to qualify for the big title match in that six-man Hell in a Cell on August 19th. So, yeah, congratulations to BR Styles. It was well-deserved. And here comes Corey now. Corey with the huge manoeuvre incoming. A big spinning sit-down powerbomb. Taking some bloody um, notes there off of Frankie Davies in her tag match. Can he get the pin done before RVD gets involved? Let's have a look. Here we go. One. Two. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky there. Uh, I'll walk you through what you've missed in a minute, Dan. I'll walk you through what you've missed in a minute. Oh, what a bloody fucking abdominal shot that was. He did take a bit too much time, mate. I agree. It was a rookie move there by Corey. And there goes RVD. 
just applying the pressure on the headlock. And now coming after Kano, like he always does. Huge move. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the pin there. And he's going up top, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going to see the Rob Van Dam splash? No, we are not. He's, he's just perched there. He doesn't know what he wants to do. He feels like that he is a little bird perching on top of a branch. A huge move. Looking for more damage here. Oh, what a move by Corey going after the ever taunting Kano. Kano has been, nor, he's normally very impressive, but he's been quite disappointed in here tonight. All he's done is try to play up to the audience. Now we know that this is his new playground. But here we go, one, two. Oh, unlucky there by Corey. Taking so much energy to muster. Oh, and here we go. He's going in for one hell of a move. Oh, what a submission. Slamming his head to the floor. What a move there by Corey. And he's got him by the beard. With the huge abdominal shot. And now it's Corey VRVD. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Huge move incoming. The blood is just rushing to the head. Oh, what a suplex there. And a spear out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. Out of nowhere. One, two. And Rob Van Dam just getting there in the last second to bring that up. Oh, and he couldn't do anything there when the Irish whipped. Oh, what a fisherman suplex there by RVD. And he's going up now. He's got Kano in his sights. Here we go. The frog splash. One. Two. How the hell did Kano kick out of that one? Kano has been absolutely destroyed in this match. And now Rob Van Dam is running up that road. He's running up that hill. He's running in the turnbuckle. Yeah. <laughs> RVD has got stamina for days. Absolute stamina for days, ladies and gentlemen. Into the ring again. As he just keeps running away. And Corey is back in the matchup. He's coming straight after Kano. Boom. Thank you for the ban. Oh, and a double axe handle blows there. And now RVD's taunted in the corner. Corey's coming after him with the big hammer-like shots. RVD with a reversal now. What else can we see here by RVD? Oh, look out. Look out. What a moonsault, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and another. He's gone for the pin. One. Two. Oh my God! How have we not claimed a winner? I do not know. Are we going to see another frog splash? We are! Oh, what a frog splash! One! And Kano breaking up the freak out. You've got to think that if Kano wasn't there in that ring, that was the end of this matchup, ladies and gents. 100%. Oh, here we go. Kano's got RVD up on his shoulders. We've seen this move before. He's taking him over. Everyone's in his way. Not yet, I haven't, mate. I'm getting into this matchup quick. A huge Russian leg sweep there by RVD. Big counters as well. What a matchup this has been for the last triple threat of the night. Another key reversal there by Corey. Big axe handles to the back yet again. Kano is out of it. The next pinfall is definitely getting this. And what's Corey got planned here? What's he going to do here? He's hanging him up on the turnbuckle there. 
Oh, and Kano, out of nowhere, Kano with the end of days. Oh, and RVD breaking it up. RVD breaking up the end of days. That was Kano's first major impact in the match. Huge slam there as well. It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you hear this capacity crowd. And he hangs RVD up again. Oh, and a spear out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. One, two. Corey with a huge win. The win of Corey's career, ladies and gentlemen. Biggest win of the night for Corey. Brilliant matchup. This triple threat victory, some would call it quite the Herculean feat. I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on I have no idea, Demonic is my answer. Brilliant matchup, Corey. Qualifying you for that Hell in a Cell match. Next up, we've got two brand new members to the Carnage roster. Coming over from MCW Mayhem, we have the veteran, Big Nasty. And his opponent, making their debut on MCW, Vader! Oh, here we go. It's time. It's Vader time. Here comes the, here comes the big man. The long-awaited debut of Vader. The Hall of Famer, ladies and gentlemen. Who the hell is that? Clearly not expecting this. I cannot believe Who the hell is that, ladies and gentlemen? Is this what was said on the um on the Twitter page earlier on? There was apparently someone coming over to destroy the roster. They said we wouldn't know when they make their move, but it will be memorable. And damn are they going to strike now? I have no idea who this masked competitor is. But damn, are they coming here to make a mark of Vader? Why are they here? What is their motive for being here? Why have they chosen this type of match to get involved? The Mastodon's the complete physical package, and he's more than almost any superstar can handle. If he just puts his head more importantly, who is this masked person? Oh, the power of them. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. Oh, and Vader is not going down without a fight. Vader is fighting back. Oh, and he's stepping on the arm. Oh, what a hip toss. And ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This masked person has come in out of nowhere and interfered in what would have been a fantastic match. That is the end of that matchup, ladies and gentlemen. The next match, which is our main event. We will try to keep you up to date with that this brand new story that's just evolved. A masked competitor, Ian, has just turned up and beaten the living crap out of Vader. I'm going to put that down as a no contest. In our books. No idea what the hell that was. Or who that is. So this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Which is going to be difficult to come back from. After that amazing, weird, surprising attack on Vader. No idea who that could be. But here we go. The main event of the night, ladies and gentlemen is for the number one contendership for Ivy Jane's MCW Women's Championship. 
it features four previous competitors. In Cheryl Mano, Thunder Suzuki, and Nia Jax and Silk Raven. And news just in, ladies and gentlemen, we have just heard from the deputy leader of Chaos from Blade Ellis backstage. The person you see on the screen now, Thunder Suzuki, is the brand new member of the faction that they call Chaos. Chaos is now back up to five members, ladies and gentlemen. And they now have a female in their faction to cause havoc throughout the entire division of the men's and women's superstars. Welcome to Chaos, Thunder Suzuki. And her opponent tonight, ladies and gentlemen, wearing a brand new attire to the ring. We have Silk Raven. A hell of an acquisition indeed, mate. One hell of an acquisition. So now the five members of Chaos Faction are Ian Porter, Blade Ellis, Gowie, Fresh King, and Thunder Suzuki! Fresh King in the chat saying, Oh my god, let's go! I did not expect that one! That is what happens when conversations happen behind closed doors. Surprises occur. Let's see what she can do. And here we go. The ever impressive. One of the best females to have never been champion, ladies and gentlemen. The phenomenal Chiro Muno. If whoever was my opponent, I said, sorry, man, they had to bend the knee. Your opponent tonight, mate, you was in a triple threat match. And the winner of the triple threats tonight go in the six-man Hell in a Cell on August 19th. Where the winner of the Hell in a Cell will become the brand new first ever MCW Carnage champion. The matchup between BR Styles was BR Styles versus Gowie of Chaos versus Brett the Hitman Hart. It was a very well fought matchup throughout with pinfalls getting broken up by all of you. Every single one of you definitely felt the matchup and the pain from this. And BR Styles came out on top. And it was a brilliant display and a well deserved number one contendership into that hell in a cell. So congratulations, man. You figured it out? Nice. We run this show. Show them why, Thunder Suzuki. Yes, will Thunder Suzuki come out all guns blazing in this fatal four-way, ladies and gentlemen, and become the new number one contender for that amazing MCW championship? And here we go, the fourth competitor the in force. to this matchup. The irresistible force herself, Naya Jax. 100% well deserved. The boss, the thing is, BR Styles has come so, so close time and time again to winning that big match that they need. This was the big match you needed. And it was on your return to the show that you first started on. You came back to Carnage. And Carnage is what you caused. 
Carol Minow and, and uh, Thunder Suzuki are having a chat there on the outside. Are they discussing tactics and game plan strategies? Let's stay tuned and find out. Here we go. The first time the women have done the main event of the night on a day on a weekly show. Here we go. And Cheryl Minow's coming over there on Thunder Suzuki with the with the headlock. Nia Jack straight onto Silk Raven. They're gonna power. Twisted ecstasy while punishing their Oh, and what a knee strike. Nia Jax again with the power. Thunder Suzuki shoving her ass in Cheryl's face. Saying, eat my ass. And now the shots to the kidneys. What a power bomb by Cheryl Minow. Just bowing down to the crowd. Letting them bask in her greatness, ladies and gentlemen. And again, another huge running powerbomb in with a pin, and it's a rope break. And Silk Raven now has got Nia Jax exactly where she wants her. Not finished yet. Oh, what a moonsault into the pin. Here we go. And Cheryl Minogue just breaking up that free count. And Thunder Suzuki is being absolutely done over as Cheryl Minogue gets thrown into Thunder. Not once, but twice. She's feeling it. And the WWE Universe has the pressure become just too much for the night there for Thunder. Not a problem, dude. And Silk Raven's got up top. That high risk did not matter. Nia Jax there completely decimating her as she is stunned to the outside of the ring. And now Thunder is getting into the mix of it. Going after Cheryl and hanging her on the top rope. Now going after Nia Jax, tossing her to the outside and going straight back for Cheryl Minow with a huge reversal. And again, what a clothesline there by Thunder Suzuki. And the taunt is going to come back and bite her in the arse. You can just feel it. Another great counter there by Thunder. She goes straight up for the suplex. Oh, what a spinebuster powerbomb. And she's going straight back on the attack there with a huge right hand. And Cheryl is now stunned to the outside. Thunder Suzuki has been put onto the apron. Silk Raven now has got up. Huge shooting star press. Oh, Thunder Suzuki not allowing Silk Raven to get involved with that. And has she just been caught? She has just been caught by, by Silk Raven. Two. Ooh. Nearly a quick match ending. Silk Raven being very impressive tonight. Missing with the disaster kick though. Will do indeed. Oh, what a slam there by Cheryl Mano. Thunder Suzuki waiting for Nia. Going after the biggest person in the ring. Chucks her to the outside yet again. Oh, and there we go. Silk Raven and Cheryl Manoa now getting into the fight. Nia Jax and Thunder. Oh, what a move. A code breaker there by Thunder. A huge takedown. And she's going for it. She's going for the guillotine. Unlucky maneuver there. Unlucky maneuver there by Thunder onto Nia Jax. But she goes for even more leg damage on the big woman. Cheryl Minow now with the hip moving. And Nia Jax is stunned again to the outside. Leaving Thunder to just get her breath back. And Silk Raven's not letting her have any of it. Huge counter again by Thunder. Oh, what a leg lariat there by Thunder Suzuki. And big, big attacks. Cheryl Minow getting involved again. Huge move. Beautiful sit-out power bomb there by Cheryl. 
And now Thunder Suzuki has Cheryl up where she wants her. A huge brain buster. And she's gone for the win. Nia Jax there just breaking up the free count. Making sure that she still has a chance to win this matchup and become the number one contender for the women's title. MC Dub, MC Dub. And another massive miss by Silk Raven. And now Thunder Suzuki is measuring up Nia Jax, ladies and gentlemen. What are we going to see? Nia Jax with the massive reversal. She's now measuring up Thunder Suzuki for her power move. Here we go. Oh, what a slam by Nia Jax. One, two. Ooh, and a last second kick out by Thunder Suzuki. Beautiful reversal there. And a huge code breaker. That could be it. One. Two. Oh my God. That was milliseconds away. Milliseconds away. Oh, what a, what a move by Thunder. She is measuring up Nia Jax now as we speak. She's got her down on the floor. She's got the submission locked in. Is she going to tap? Can Silk Raven get in there quickly? Nia Jax has tapped out Thunder Suzuki with the win. A huge win for Thunder Suzuki after just joining Chaos. What a debut for her new Chaos member. And the new number one contender for Ivy Jane's title, Thunder Suzuki. And ladies and gentlemen, there we go. That is the end of MCW Friday Night Carnage. We now know that two matchups on Tuesday are already set in stone. We've got Hazza taking on Sawyer yet again for Sawyer to try and win back that hardcore title. If Sawyer wins, Hazza does not get a shot back at the rematch. And we've also got some other matchups now for uh, the Mayhem uh, match. We've got Thunder Suzuki is going to be taken on Ivy Jane on Tuesday night in a matchup that we just don't know what it's going to be just yet. But it will be Thunder Suzuki versus Ivy Jane on Tuesday night for the MCW Women's Championship. We've also got TJ Smith defending his... Um, MCW Mayhem Championship against Jamie Cameron. TJ Smith said he will be a fighting champion. And my word, is he going to be a fighting champion? We have also just heard as well that on Tuesday Night Mayhem, Cliff Davies will be going one-on-one -on -one with the former MCW Mayhem Champion, Demonic Titan, also known as the Magnum Walker. And he will be going one-on-one -on -one with him in a no-holds-barred match. Which is going to be one to keep an eye out on. And yeah, like I say, we've had some great stuff tonight. We've had some big surprises also. Who knows who this masked man is? Only the masked person knows. But they got onto Twitter earlier. And they done what they needed to do. Um, it's already been announced, Griff. We announced it earlier. Um, so, yeah, obviously we've had the masked attacker, a masked assailant, coming in and fucking things up for the roster. We don't know who this person is, what they want with MCW, or what they're trying to prove. But it's, we are going to try and get some more information on who the hell they are. We've had um, Griff leaving the faction of Chaos to focus on his solo career. And we've had a brand new member of Chaos join tonight. The introduction of Thunder Suzuki to the faction with a massive, massive statement also by Thunder winning that main event of the Fatal 4-Way. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I have been Cliff Davies Gaming. This has been MCW Carnage. Until Tuesday night, I will see you all then.